What up, it's your boy Naftastic, and welcome back to another episode of my United series. So, as you know, we've won the Premier League, we've gone undefeated, we're invincibles, that's one. We've won the FA Cup, that's the double. Now for the treble, we need to win the Champions League. But to do so, we have to beat the toughest team I'm probably ever going to come up against. They're loaded with talent, loaded with a ton of great players. Like, from front to back... It's just, I, you mean, it's one of those teams you just look at it and you're not sure how we're going to beat them. But to do so, we have to use superb tactics, we have to be on our games, we have to be fully concentrating and um, we need a little bit of luck, I'm not going to lie. In any circumstance when a lesser team goes up against a more talented squad, all of those elements have to come together in the perfect amount in order to deliver a win so we're gonna have to hope for a little bit but if everyone has their game on right then it doesn't matter as long as we give a hundred percent then we can have no complaints um anyway just showing that player before because he's one of the top scorers in the champions league i've never even heard of him but never mind um we want a bit of news looks like we're gonna lose a few coaches to retirement Gary Muller, who I signed not too long ago, one of the best attacking coaches in the world, and obviously a legend in the World Cup, or in the world stage for Germany, rather. David Kaur, who I signed from Arsenal, is going to be going soon, and Jimmy Lumsden is a long-term servant for the club. All will be huge losses, but I'm sure we can uh, address that need once this final is complete. Focus is purely on this. We've had plenty of time to recover. Um, we've got a few threats more than just Benzema to worry about but you know, if we compile the right elements together and bring together sort of like the right tactics everyone being on our game that element of luck will be spot on I mean we've been playing so well as a team though, so far this season if we can just do that again and give our best performance then we should have enough to see Real off if that's the team they play though it's not going to be easy, not going to be easy at all. Well, what? Hernandez is not available. That is does not help my squad. How? Why have they called him up for the Champions League finals? Still not complete. Oh, so I only have one senior striker available. Luckily, it's Van Persie. It's not too bad. But still, um, we have a thin squad. Andres Pereira gets his start in the Champions League final season. My time this season, my attacking midfield has been sublime. I need their best game. So here we go. Let's do this, boys. Let's get this win. I want to see the maximum effort, 100%. Everything you've got now. It's the last game of the season. Let's complete, you know, the perfect year. <sighs> Lost for words. So nervous right now. Two yellow cards is not even 15 minutes in. Doesn't help. I'm going to put it to a counter. Oh, that's nice. That's it. Playing it well. Well played, lads. Oh, giving it away. Come on, we can't be sloppy like that. There you go, that's better movement. They're hounding us. Oh, what a goal! Van Persie seizes the moment. They were totally crowding us, hustling for the ball. But a moment puts us 1-0 puts us up. Oh, what a dream start. And we've got another yellow card, so we're really on the edge here. But we have to keep pressing, keep pushing. The dominating possession. Oh, oh, another great chance. Corner here. Oh, they do it again. Look how much players are just tracking back. Oh, that's nice. There you go, put it forward. Oh, unlucky. We're having a good game to fight. Oh, again. The left side is their weakness. Teller's, uh, Teller's uh, abandoned it, it seems. <laughs> the cross... Van Persie has seized the moment, his opportunity in the starting lineup. Two goals, what a half. We're halfway there, lads. Not slide down. We, we've been pushed, we've been pressed. We've got 45 minutes. Let's do this. Come on. Show us what you've got. I'm having to consider a substitute. The yellow cards are dismounting up. I'm going to put Zalala possessed because he can retain possession a little bit better than uh, some of the other replacements possible. It potentially leaves me defensively exposed. Oh no! Hasn't even come on yet. 
Cristiano. I should have expected it. It's going to be a real tough sort of 35 minutes now. Oh, and Andreas Pereira has been injured too. Oh dear, oh dear, it's all going wrong. Can't, can't Ravel. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put Smalling on. I'm going to put Jones in midfield. Zalalem can play in the middle up, in the attacking midfield. He's got that capability. Let's shore up the midfield a little bit more. Whew, nervous. Smalling's got experience. He's been superb. Quite happy with the balance. Team is really thin. <laughs> really thin at the minute. It's 35 minutes, lads. We got this. We got this. Don't worry. There you go. Let's make that sub. Right, on comes Smalling. And Real are still controlling position, but our tactics are keeping them at bay at the minute. They haven't created a ton of chances of oh, Cristiano doing what he does normally, trying to pull Real Madrid to the win. The defense is doing the job. It's a good hustle, great save to her. They are pushing for that second. There's another great be bit of defending. It's going to be inspired stuff, lads. Just keep doing what you do. Oh, it's good. We're cutting off the shooting angles, which is good. And De Gea is making the simple saves, which is also great. Look at that, restricting them. Yeah, they're having a ton of ball. Oh, great save. Having a ton of ball, they're making the odd chance. But hopefully nothing too clear cut. Oh, hello. Oh, we almost, almost were through there. Oh, Real Madrid are relentless right now. <laughs> it's good defending, boys. Good defending. We're really, I don't care if we have to part the bus. We are going to protect this goal. 10 minutes, come on. Give it your all. Blood, sweat, and tears. We've got this. Whew. It's almost here. Can't feel it in my grass. Come on, Fran. Take it a gamble. Hopefully waste some time with the sub. Come on. Nearly there now. Just a minute. Just over a minute. Come on. Ah, oh, it's taking so long. <laughs> oh. The sub is just taking the longest part of this game, it seems. Fran Prieto, come on, let's get you on. Adding to my nerves here. Is it done? Is it done? Yes, come on. The treble is complete. Real Madrid made, made us work so hard for that. Jesus, the defending was inspired. We did ride our luck at times, but wow. What a performance. What a game. Yep, that's it. First trouble since 99. But the trophy is ours. And it's coming back to Old Trafford. <sighs> we defended the Champions League as well. That just <laughs> Of all the achievements, you kind of forget that. Wow. 6-2 for that. That's uh, that's one that I didn't hear before, but okay. Only one that was missing for our collection this season was the League Cup, but I could accept that. Can't have a perfect season, or too perfect a season rather. Everything else is pretty much spot on. <laughs> God, fantastic. So delighted. Van Presley hasn't been impressed. I'm now in a dilemma of which striker to get rid of. I was quite hell-bent on getting rid of a striker, so... He's on 180k a week. He's about to take 32, but the guy performs. Man, the technical ability he has is just second to none. So I'm really in a quandary. I mean, look at those stats. I'm gonna be hard pushed to find someone, and only 7.5 million. The problem I have, but the problem I have is, if I keep him for an extra year, how much will I get from him? Not very little. His contract runs out, so he's probably going as a free. Uh, rather sell him now maybe I don't know I don't know he just won the Champions League final for me it's a, I have to sort of mull that one over a bit I think it's going to take some time to sort of just sit it and settle down and acknowledge it we've got a decent summer ahead to do so um, Hernandez is already in the Gold Cup <laughs> so he's our way but we're going to get a decent sort of cash injection from this win 
Um, as you can see, there's TV money, prize money. A ton of sponsorship deals are going to get renewed. It's going to be an interesting summer. Um, we're going to have to sort of reset a little bit, but not too much. We've seen that the squad is quite thin, but it's coped. I have to admit it's coped. There is a lot to, to sort of ponder about how we strengthen for next season when we know everyone's going to come back stronger. Just wanting to, you know, take us down from our throne. But I'm going to end the episode here after what has turned out to be a fantastic end to the season. Lindegaard will negotiate or discuss his future. He's going to be sold. He has no worries. Um, but hopefully we can uh, start this next season as well as we ended this. But until then, catch you guys later when we uh, do the off-season. Eh? Alright, until then, bye-bye now.